finally at six, we we're at that point when snow is the last thing many of us want to see. The feeling was similar one day back in 1983. Tonight we offer you a poem from back down the Pennsylvania Road. It's simply titled Stevens in the Snow. I awoke this morning from a good night's sleep to find snow on my sidewalk more than one inch deep. What's more, our Noreen Clark was extremely grave, saying this day might go into the record books as one to save. Several inches were coming to Wilkesbury Scranton. A half foot or more in the Poconos could threaten spring planting. The friendly robins were finding it bleak. There simply was no place to put their beaks. The poor motorists were trying their best to avoid each other. With snow tires off and studs not allowed, most could simply mutter, Oh, brother. And oh, those ski slope owners are all in a dither. After months of advertising come hither, the snowmaking machines were put away for the summer. One slope owner was heard to murmur, what a bummer. And what of that Punxsutawney Phil fella out on Gobbler's Knob, you ask? Did he not predict an early end to winter, as is his task? Phil messed up, I could probably say. He should have predicted six more weeks of winter back on Groundhog Day. With plenty of wet snow falling round, piles and piles of it hitting the ground. I like to think on days like this that something, somewhere, has gone amiss. But let me leave you with this point to ponder. All that snow that came from yonder gave us more trouble than we thought could ever be. But it is still, my friend, one of the prettiest sights we can see. I'm Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in the Poconos.